so welcome to my living room and the first video of a 26 part series that I'm going to do on the Alphabet Superset, a project that an artist called Struthless is hosting, a lot of different artists participating. And yeah, this is my attempt to just like get started in making some videos. This is just a little shot of the accessories I picked up uh, just this weekend to help me just start making the videos that I want to make. Uh, for this project and then into the future making a variety of different types of videos hopefully uh, some you know that I can tease very early because hopefully it will happen next year sometime is even making videos on yoga and meditation uh, I, I have my training and it's been a while since I've taught like uh, other than just like teaching here and there I, I used to teach regularly weekly sort of thing uh, during the pandemic that did fall off and feels like now I'm, I'm feeling more this is the time for me to get into it and trying to do it uh, in, a di in a variety of different ways including making videos so yeah you just have to start sometimes uh, hopefully this shot is not too blurry on camera but you can see my iPad in the background that has that was how I did start making these videos and I made a bunch of different clips during the process of working on some of the variety of projects I've already started but then I was just frustrated with uh, holding, um, you know, an iPad and it not being that conducive to making videos. I didn't have this phone at the time. My phone was actually broken, uh, and I was using a flip phone a friend had bo had lent to me, and that also is obviously not conducive to making sm uh, to making videos. Um, now that I have the smartphone, I could start using it. It's an older one, though. Thankfully, you know, I, I still have one. Uh, it, it came from my mom when she got a, a new one. Could you know, I could have, I could have a new phone right now and, and be paying for it monthly. But I'd rather be saving my money to dedicate to some other purchases I want to make in the future. You know, rather than chasing that <laughs> newer phone all the time kind of actually really okay with having uh, a not great phone right now it's kind of liberating in a way I already have so much technology I just don't have all the you know specific technology I want you know I even thought at one point of buying like uh, a mirrorless camera and investing a decent amount of money in that and that kind of changed too because as much as I want that I, I want to do a lot of things and I think part of these projects are to you know help unlock some of that creative potential you have hidden in, in what you're already doing and, and the things you already have and so this camera does help me unlock that a little bit because uh, it will be a little bit easier and a little bit more fun too I think uh, than other ways I'm still going to use my camera but potentially to film some like b-roll or <laughs> who knows if I'll ever have a can two camera uh, you know an, an unprofessional two camera setup but you know who knows where this 26 part series is going to go I'm hoping to some positive places. I'm reading this book right now. I'm hopefully going to talk a little bit about the things I do week to week and, you know, not bore people, but I'm reading this book, really enjoying it so far. It is kind of a page, easy page turner of a fantasy series, but enjoy it, really enjoyable for me so far. Uh, I, I already watched the two seasons. I got this book before it came out. Uh, my dad got it for me for Christmas one year. And, uh, 2019 actually and it took me until watching two seasons to really get into cracking the spine and uh, and re but really enjoying it and yeah so I'm gonna start talking more about the actual project for the letter A which is anchor bookends and I'm just gonna go to show you uh, where I'm at on that now so I just have them here in my hallway, um, the four pieces, you know, they, they were originally, I guess, you know, ten pieces or whatever. Uh, starting with these, these are the bookend pieces themselves. Before I restarted, so I had gotten this project to like, you know, 95% there to the point I had said they were done. But I really didn't like the finish, the... Uh, the original stain on them was really light, so you could almost not tell it was there. The kind of leftover, they were left over from a bed frame project that I made uh, with a friend of mine who helped me out, and 
they look good, but just too unfinished in this in this context. They look better in the in, uh, the unfinished look I was going for in the bed frame. It has a slight finish on it, but mostly unfinished. And yeah, it just didn't feel right to leave it uh, in the end. So I'm going back now, finishing the, the kind of things that I was saying to myself at the time, like, oh, it's okay. But no, I didn't really feel like I wanted to leave it that way, especially if you know you want to share with people what you're doing. You don't want to feel like, oh, I'm not satisfied, and, and then share it anyways. I mean, you can do that, and I've done that before, uh, and nothing against people who do that. But I'm I, this part of this for me, if I've, if I've not said it already, is about the process and you know getting into creative flow. I think it's David Lynch who said in, in his meditation book, like you have to be a place where you can work on something for like three hours to get into that creative place where things are, are kind of flowing. And so not having the right setup or you know not having a camera or, or whatever it is uh, for these types of projects can kind of set you back. So having this camera, getting into the mentality of, of taking your time and not worrying about deadlines has, has helped me. So part of the, what I wanted to do too with these was like use those scraps and join them. So I used just regular wooden dowels. Uh, I'm not like particularly skilled at that and was one of the reasons I wanted to use them. Uh, so I didn't really, I mean I have some documented on my, uh, on my iPad but I'm not even going to bother looking at footage up. It's not that important. Uh, and then the and then I stained them, of course. Uh, I should have probably, like, in a perfect world, they would have been disassembled and then reassembled, but I didn't do that. Uh, I, I just assembled them, doweled them, glued them, and then I stained them later. Uh, and, you know, who cares? I, I'm fine with it. Um, and these anchors, yeah, so these were cut out of old scraps from a, but believe it or not, a piano. And I, I originally painted them this color that you see now in the back, the brownish. This is a spray paint kind of remnant I had. And then when I was like looking at them too, I was like, oh man, I know they're pretty rough around the edges because I just had a jigsaw. I wasn't, the wood is pretty, you know, not great quality. So you, you can see there was like, it was pretty compromised. And even if I had better tools, it was like kind of at some places the wood was like falling apart. So I could have spent like a lot of time fixing these up better, but at that point especially, I was like, oh, just move move ahead. But certain things, I just went back and kind of sanded down a little bit better. Still see a lot of kind of where I just went really quick. But I'm not done painting these. I'm gonna, I, I just had, that was the last of the silver spray paint that I had when I laid down one coat on the top of it. I didn't even have enough to do the sides or anything. And um, I'm gonna just use a, a mixture of other different paints to kinda give them a more silvery, uh, or like gray silver, silver gray, with some, you know, distress. Not necessarily rust, but you know, the kind of black, what do you call like, when metal gets eaten away and underneath it you can see, I don't know if like a lot of old um, anchors I think are like iron, cast iron possibly. Uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm like f fooling around in my head how I'm going to fully finish those. And I'll probably just honestly use hot glue to put them on there. And these are pretty sturdy. I'm not going to pick them up again because they're still a little wet. They're drying outside for most of the day, but it's you know, I live in eastern Canada, and it's November, so it's not, wasn't that warm out, wasn't a lot of, like, sun out there helping to dry these, but I didn't want them to dry indoor all day, so they'll dry inside, and uh, should be f for the rest of the night, and should be fine, and then the painting, the rest of the painting, I'll just be using, you know, regular acrylic paint or something, and that's not that the fumes are not going to be significant. So I'll probably actually paint the anchors tonight just like hanging out with, with Rocky and you know if I watch a movie or something. So the next time you see a video will, will hopefully be when it's you know done. So there they are the completed project for letter A anchor bookends and uh, definitely a lot happier than my you know quote-unquote 
first finished, or, you know, whatever I had called them. And uh, they still have an unfinished, or rather, like, rough look about them, but a little bit more finish, and I don't know how well the camera is, like, picking up all the good and bad of it all, but, you know, to my eye, they, they are looking a lot better and, uh, you know, adequate for their intended purpose, which is just to sit on my bookshelf and um, just kind of blend into the greater bookshelf itself. It's pretty messy looking right now. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff underneath that I hope to clear out and have like kind of new homes for certain things. And those are all the extra encyclopedias that uh, came with the, uh, you know, it was a set of encyclopedias that came with the house basically in a in a kind of bookshelf that I ha I sold a little bookshelf it was kind of nice but I just wanted to get rid of stuff that I wasn't using and I had no room to like keep a bookshelf at the time and things were just like moving around when I was renovating the house so I hope to like tidy this all up in the process of doing the project like works in progress everywhere and uh, that's my sewing machine that I got with the house that I use for letter B bag, which I'm moving on to finishing next. Uh, actually, I think it's, is it here? Right, this is, this is it here. <clears throat> and it, it was done, finished in my mind at the time, because I was just like willing to just accept a lot of imperfections. And I mean, that's okay to accept in, imperfections. But instead, like, of just accepting this terrible handle, I decided, I think what I'll do is I'll um, kind of cut a straight line below it and then just seal it up, uh, like, uh, sew it, rather, and have it finished a little bit better. And uh, even if it's imperfect, it's a little bit, it'll, it'll still be better than this. And uh, I guess that's what I'm going to maybe focus on is just like the original idea with this bag was to follow a template and just because I'm off the template doesn't mean like I, could, I don't need to stick to the original template just because I like had the design laid out. So now that I kind of botched that, I shouldn't just stick with it. So that, that's, that's kind of my idea with some of the projects that were <clears throat> originally done and now I'm kind of saying they're not done. Uh, so, but yeah, like overall, I'm pretty happy with it because uh, I haven't sewed since like I was like 12 years old <laughs> and uh, that was over 20 years ago. So this, this was like an addition that I just made and you know, even in hindsight, maybe I didn't need, need to make it because it was like a stipulation I put on the project, like add something new to things like these were all old materials. So I guess I don't hate that idea, like the notion of it all. But, um, but yeah, that was just like a kind of, you know, the semicolon was just like something simple. And at the time I was like, oh, it's a joiner, you know, um, you know, joining two independent things together. And, um, yeah, so anyways, I guess it is still symbolic to me. To, <laughs> so I guess it's fine. Um, and yeah, now I'm just rambling because I guess, uh, this is just how it, how long it takes to wrap up one thing and move on to the next. Uh, and I guess that's what I should just do is, is leave it here now and see you at letter B.